Hello my lovelies and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a really fun one. It's going to be do-it-yourself versus professional eyebrow and eyelash lift, perm, lamination, all of those good things. Obviously you can tell they're done. So if you wanna guess which side is which, <laughs> professional versus do-it-yourself, right or left, what do you guys think? Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's go to the studio. So we decided to find a studio that would allow two people in because I had Jackie with me that she was filming and you fill out all your information and you basically say, if you're allergic to anything, are you breastfeeding, are you pregnant? The girl esthetician comes over, we had Ren and she was incredible, but basically they come over, they look at all of your checked off things or if you didn't check anything off, they make sure they get, they get all the proper products for your face <laughs> and your procedures that day and they take you back into the room and it was a really good vibe. You have a table there, not a table, like a little bed, and then you just lay down. So they clean your eyes first to make sure there's no mascara, gunk, cleanser, everything like that. It's just make sure your eye nice and clean. And then they put the little pad, they measure what size you should go for, and they put the pad, a little bit of glue, secure it to your eyelid, and then they start gluing your lashes to the pad, little sections at a time. And this is the most tedious part, even for her, as I'm laying there, it kind of took a little bit of time, extra time to really make sure all the lashes, and especially because I have a little bit of new growth, she wanted to make sure the shorter lashes really got stuck to the pad. Once the lashes got stuck, the next part was perming solution. That's where you smell that sulfur. Also, she put a t like a big basically line towards the base of the lashes. And then halfway through the time, I think she did like six minutes, so three minutes in, she went in and spread the rest of the solution to the tips of the lashes. So I basically wanted more of a lift rather than the full curl. So we, so that's why she did that. And once the solution was done, she kind of wiped up most of the excess and went with the, the second solution, which is the fixation or the neutralizer. And she did the exact same thing, placed a nice big line on the lashes and then spread it as half the time went by and then took off that solution and then she basically cleaned them and then went in with the tint. And I think with the tint, it was like maybe four minutes, maybe five minutes, but just that waiting around that time, it was really comfortable. We kind of talked, asked some questions. It wasn't super awkward. But after the tint was done, she cleaned off my eyes, used a little bit, I think just water to kind of take the eyelashes off, the glue and the pad, and then took the pad off and just kind of cleaned my eyes. And that's when I got up and looked at my lashes to make sure I like the result, to make sure the lashes are dark enough with the tint, and then laid back down on the bed. And that's when we started doing the eyebrow lamination. Super simple process. This one took the fastest just because I just wanted the eyebrows laminated. So she just took the brow solution, which is the perm solution, number one. And that's when she started going with whatever shape I asked her to do. She did use plastic wrap for the brow since we didn't use any glue for that. And then you just clean them off and that's it. Then Jackie went, it was her turn and she did the full treatment. She did the full eyebrows, the full lashes and she shaped her eyebrows and she tinted her eyebrows. So her like process I think was like 30 minutes max as well. Just very, very straight to the point. And yeah, I'm just so happy that it turned out really well. I'm back home, so now let's do the right side. So first step, I mean, I did a whole video on lifting my lashes, so I'm not gonna go as in depth with you guys just because we're just gonna do one to one. Really? Are you serious, bubs? You guys hear them in the background? First step, we need to find a pad that fits the length of my lashes. So I'm just gonna place it right here. It's a little bit long. This one seems pretty good. You know, I think I'm actually gonna use this one right here. I'm just going to clean my eyelashes and eyelid. I'm gonna take the pad and take a little bit of the glue and place it on the back of the pad so it can stick on my eyelid. And again, going to professional, this is gonna be so much easier on yourself, especially if you've never done this before. Okay, now that it's pretty stuck on there, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna start working in small little areas, starting first with the inner corners because they're the most stubborn for me. So taking that glue and putting it right there. You know what, I'm just gonna use a tiny little brush here. On one side, it has like these tiny little teeth and I feel like that really helps 
take the lashes onto the pad. Like this is the most frustrating part. It's the most stubborn part is the glue. You really have to let it get tacky, keep working it. And you wanna make sure you get as many of the lashes up there as possible, just because if you don't, they're not gonna get permed. I'm gonna just go a little bit more. You don't wanna do too much glue either. She was saying that it acts like a barrier, the glue, so you don't wanna be going too much glue. That's why I'm working in little sections. So next step is your perm solution. Once your lashes are nice and glued, and I'm gonna use one of these tiny little, they're not even Q-tips, they're just tiny little, I would say like a little sponge. Since this, um, Perm solution, it's not as intense as you would get at the studio or the salon. It says eight to 10 minutes, so we're just gonna go eight minutes. But halfway through, I'm gonna bring it all the way up to the rest of the eyelashes. Four minutes have passed, now I'm bringing the rest of it all the way up my lashes. And I actually bought this cool little nifty thing. You don't have to do this. It's a tiny little plastic wrap. <laughs> and the plastic wrap is really good to just help everything stay where it needs to stay. Now I'm going to scrape off as much of the number one off. Next, we're gonna go with number two, which is the fixation solution. I should do the same thing. She put like a nice line, but I don't think I'll be able to just because a lot of these hairs right here, they're just wanting to stay down. So I need to put plastic wrap around them. Do you guys hear him laughing? playing with Andre. Take some plastic wrap. And this thing is so handy, I like it. I didn't think, I, I thought it was gonna be stupid, but I actually really like it. Let's go for eight minutes. Okay, I'm hoping I got a good perm, just because some of these lashes, they were just not sticking, but that's okay. So now we're gonna take the cleansing solution, number four. I'm just going to take this off very gently. And this is also going to help kind of prep them to tint. And I have this thing right here. I just got this on Amazon. It was rated really good. This is in shade black. I applied the mixed cream and eyelashes from Basic Tip for 15 minutes. Wow. Okay, she only did it for, I think, several minutes. Like, it wasn't too much. So one to one, we're just gonna eyeball this, you guys. And then we're gonna take the Oxygen, Oxident. Do the same, one to one. And then we're gonna mix this. So now we're just gonna move the eyelashes. I'm more focused on the outer portions of my eyelashes. Okay, I'm gonna 15 minutes for this. I'm gonna clean up my stuff and then we're gonna move on to the eyebrows. Okay, you can see that it's so much darker, definitely oxidized. So I'm actually done with the eye. I'm gonna take the same Q-tip that I was cleaning, going with the same solution, and just kind of clean off my lashes. And this eye is so sensitive. And yes, got them lifted. I'm just gently going over some of these. There's a little bit of glue left on. You see how black that gets? So it looks like it's not gonna do anything to your eye, but it definitely stains. It's definitely a tint. <laughs> Take a spoolie, brush out those lashes. All right, let's move on to the eyebrows. I'm so excited. This is my favorite part. And then we're just gonna follow the same process, just using the perm solution, the fixation solution, and then just I'm gonna be using the plastic wrap from the very beginning. So I'm just spooling them up just to kind of see what I wanna do. And then going straight into the number one perm solution and just start kind of drawing it on. There might be some hairs and if there are any like weird hairs that are not behaving with me, I might use a little bit of glue on top of them. So I'm trying to follow the same shape that she kind of did because I don't want, you know, too much of a difference. <laughs> I think I'm good with that, happy with that. I'm just gonna take a little bit more saran wrap. Make sure I lay this down. Go with number two solution and follow the exact same steps. I'm just taking off the solutions with the cleanser. I seriously love lifted brows. Makes a world of difference. I'm just gonna take my spoolie, dump it in there, and then remove as much as possible. All right, I'm all done. I just put a little bit of concealer on and a little a little bit of lip balm and I feel like a new woman. I love how the eyebrows turned out. I love how the eyelashes turned out on both sides. If I'm gonna be a little biased, I like my eyebrow side better. <laughs> 
It honestly looks like I filled them in even though I didn't. I just kind of shaped them very similar to what she had going on, but eyelashes, I think she did a little bit better of a job just because some of these eyelashes, they were kind of just chilling, but I think honestly they look pretty good. But yeah, which side do you guys prefer? Can you even tell which side is professional, which side is DIY? Okay, so let's talk about the pros, the cons, everything like that. So getting your eyelashes done, it was very easy. And every salon has their own pricing set. So obviously call ahead or even go on their website and see what they're offering and what's included in that service. So for, for myself, I got obviously half of the face done, but basically I just got the eyelashes lifted, permed, and then I got the eyelashes tinted. And then we did the eyebrow, which is you laminate the eyebrows. And then what you can do is you can do shaping that includes waxing, tweezing, things like that. And they do hard wax or strip wax. And then they sometimes go in if they, if you want to, they can trim the eyebrow hairs as well, depending how you lift them. Cause you can really lift them just straight up like the first time I did. And then you kind of just trim them or you can really shape them and laminate to laminate your eyebrows to a shape that you want just like I did. And I, all of that took, I think was 15 minutes total just for the one side for for both sides, like 30 minutes, that's it, honestly. But yeah, it was a very simple process. She was very awesome. She, had, she explained everything, kind of said what she's doing. Just because your eyes are closed, you're not really sure what they're doing. So she explained kind of the step-by-step -step process of what's going on. And it was a very comfortable environment. It smelled really good. There's candles, the light is a little bit low, like it's dim. And it was just a really good experience. And I really like the salon, the studio. I think they're very friendly and they're very kind. It was really nice. So doing it yourself, definitely, I feel like this is for people that are very confident in their skill and confident in what they will do and confident in the, I guess, process of things. But if you're, this is your first time, I definitely recommend, especially for your eyelashes, go get them done professionally, just to see if you'll even enjoy it first, just because you're working with your eyes and you have to be very meticulous. But the eyebrows, I prefer to do them myself just because I'm very picky with my eyebrows and eyebrow shape. And I think she did a beautiful job. I, I She asked what kind of eyebrow shape I prefer. So she did exactly what I asked. And yeah, I think definitely even for the eyebrows, get them professionally done just to see, especially if you don't know what kind of eyebrow shape you prefer and they can really help you see what it could look like and i think that's the beauty of it but i think it's incredible that you can do a lot of things at home or get them done professionally but i'm not gonna be sitting here telling you you should do one thing or another obviously you know who you are if you're confident in your skills if you're not if you just prefer to get away and get your eyebrows done your lashes done i think this is a great way to do things so i think this was a really good experience and she actually took my picture right after we were done just to see the one to one right away and to really see that the, there really is a huge difference. It's not very minute. It's a huge difference that your face just gets lifted in a way. It's kind of like an instant Botox. For now, you guys, please share your before and afters if you like to get your brows lifted, laminated. Thank you for watching, spending time with me and Jackie, and we'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye.